Okay, everybody, as promised, uh, I wanted to uh, give a quick tutorial about the new snapping feature in Cinema 4D 14. And it's nap time at my house, so hopefully there'll be no interruptions, but we'll see. So, to begin, uh, this is the snapping tool right here. If you uh, click and hold it down, if you select this little tab up on the top, you can make it into a new window. I'm just going to drag it over so we can talk about the different um, options here. So, to enable it, you just click Enable Snap and uh, this allows you to uh, snap between the objects which means you'll be able to link them directly from different points that you choose or different edges or polygons or axes or midpoints so uh, to begin the default is going to be auto snapping which allows you to snap in both 3d and 2d uh, and then the vertex snap is also default the vertex uh, vert vertex are any of the points so where you have intersections so the corners essentially of the cube so with this I could grab this object and I'm just gonna grab outside of the object when it's selected uh, and drag it and what it's gonna do is it'll go snap right to a point and you see that it's labeled there it says cube vertex snap so that lets you know that you're directly on one of those vertices by going around it okay so that allows you to snap an object into place quickly and easily and if I move it around you can see it's right on that vertice the middle of that little cube is on the vertex of the corner of the big cube okay other options edge snap edge snap allows you to move an object and snap it along an edge so you can place it anywhere along an edge and you can see again it highlights and says edge snap okay uh, let's see what else we have. Polygon snap. Uh, well, let's talk all about this as well. Actually, midpoint snap is really helpful. So if you want to place an object along an edge, right at the midpoint, you can snap it into place and it will tell you right exactly it's in the middle point of that uh, polygon. I'm sorry, of that edge. Um, if we do polygon snap, we can snap an object. There we go. Right into the middle of a polygon. Now this is midpoint snap and also polygon snap. So it's snapped to a polygon and also in the middle and you can see that little cube is directly in the center of the larger cube. Um, so there, are, uh, these options I think will, will get you started in basic uh, snapping objects together and allowing them to align how you, how you hope them to align. The last thing we're going to talk about is the work plane snap. So this allows you to snap essentially to the grid. So <clears throat> if we look at this in multiple viewpoints Actually, if we get rid of this little cube, we just have the big cube here. Uh, there's a few different things we can do. So work plane snap, if you enable that, uh, you can choose between grid point snap and line snap. So grid point snap would allow you to um, move the object along uh, your, work, uh, your work plane, which is the grid that you see in the, in the viewer, uh, at any of those points. So you see this matches the object along the grid which is really, really helpful. And then also you could choose grid line snap and that allows you to move the object along the line. And again, you're gonna be able to see it uh, highlighted as to which um, snapping selection you've chosen. So here we go, grid line snap and then grid point snap. So between those two, you could place multiple objects in a row very easily, set things up so they're right in line with how you desire them to be. Uh, and this becomes a really, really helpful tool. Uh, I'll be posting another tutorial soon, a uh, second part of uh, snapping uh, uh, in Cinema 4D14, and uh, so look for that.